Honestly, this question kind of offends me, but it leads to a couple of the best lessons that I have learned in my career, and I think it can help a lot of you too. So our pilots just glorified bus drivers. I get the comparison because you're both transporting people in some sort of vehicle and whatnot, but honestly, this question is pretty offensive. <laughs> and I know everyone's offended by everything these days, but you think about it. I mean, the question is certainly offensive towards bus drivers. What's wrong with bus drivers? But it's also offensive towards pilots. There's no good way to answer this question um, that, that isn't a lose-lose. I mean, it's a cynical question because either you are suggesting that bus drivers are no good, or you are suggesting that pilots are no good because they're only barely elevated versions of someone who's really no good, bus drivers. So I just don't like the direction of the question. It's a lose-lose for sure. And really anyone who is questioning the, um, the dignity or worth of the way that you want to go uh, make money, and it's something that you're passionate about and interested in, and it helps people, and it's good for the world, it's not illegal, um, I don't think anyone should question that. And so I think you should have the green light to go pursue what you want. And I, I think the reason that I'm, I'm so passionate about this is because I think that there are a lot of you out there that want to pursue aviation as a career or as a hobby, and you're hearing this question, and maybe even having people, loved ones in your life, throwing this in your face. And I hate that for you. I don't want you to hear this question and have it um, really deter you from pursuing aviation. And I think I think the question here, we just, you know, elevated bus drivers here, just totally misses the point here. Cause it's not, it's not about what job has glory or has dignity or or whatnot. And so I think there are, are two far more practical things to think about when it when it comes to um, what type of career you're going to pursue. And this has really, really helped me in my own career. One of the biggest things that I've learned in my career is that you have to be really careful when asking other people's opinion on your own career or your life or your pursuits because their advice is going to be informed by their own interests, their experiences, their fears, whether or not they even know that it's coming from a place of fear. And those could all be very, very different things than, than what you feel. And so just because someone's telling you, hey, you're just gonna be a glorified bus driver, um, they're, they're coming from a place that you aren't. And so you have to be really careful whose opinion you ask. And I think for the most part, you probably just shouldn't care what a lot of people think or what a lot of people are telling you to do. I would definitely kind of have an inner circle of people you really listen to that can speak into your life. But for the most part, I, th I think we try to solicit advice from way too many people and we take all of their pieces of advice with equal importance, even though uh, we're coming from way different places. So you have to be really, really mindful of that when you're asking other people for advice. So in other words, it just really doesn't matter what most other people think. Secondly, and more important, I'd really encourage you to think about the nature of the job that you're interested in and not just the subject matter of the job. A lot of people will just pursue the subject matters that they're interested in, but they won't actually think, hey, what would be the nature of the job if I were to work in that field? Uh, and I didn't come up with this concept. This is from a book called Work Energy. That's one of my very favorite business books. I will link it down in the description. I highly recommend that you pick up a copy. Um, but you know, a lot of people will think, hey, I'm really interested in aviation. Why don't I go be an airline pilot? And I've thought, time and time and time again about that, but this book helped really, really helped me realize why I ultimately haven't pursued it. And that's because the nature of being a, an airline pilot is not the reasons that I love aviation. I love aviation because of the exploration, the freedom of it, the fact that I can go get in the airplane and fly anywhere I want with very few restrictions. I love that. And as an airline pilot, that's not exactly what you're doing. I mean, obviously you get to fly airplanes and there's a lot of really, really awesome things about being an airline pilot, but I think the structure and the rep repetition and it's very regimented and um, it, it's kind of repetitive in that nature really doesn't doesn't jive with me. I think that's why I love entrepreneurship because I love building things. I love being creative. I love getting to have a blank canvas and try to put things together, whether it's a business or a new product line or a new video or whatever. I love building things. And I think as an airline pilot, I really wouldn't get to flex the muscles uh, professionally that I most enjoy. And so that, that has um, given me a lot of peace of, hey, yeah, I would love to fly cool jets. That would be awesome. But I think the nature of being a pilot is not something that would really resonate with me. So rather than thinking through, hey, am I just going to be a glorified bus driver? Just put that aside for a second and think through, hey, the nature of being a pilot, is that something I could be interested in? Obviously, you're going to be interested in the subject matter because it's airplanes, but think through the nature of the job. So my hope for you is that instead of, of you know having to answer the question yes or no to our pilots glorified bus drivers, your answer could instead be whether or not flying an airplane is similar to driving a bus. I'm interested in it for the nature of the work plus the subject matter. 
And then just understand that some people are going to disagree with you on how interesting a career in aviation might be. And you know what? It doesn't matter. If you're interested in pursuing aviation, the one thing you don't want to do is put it off. And I talk about that issue and how to solve it in this video linked up in the corner. I highly recommend that you go watch it.